Hello everyone, Manithrall here, and welcome back to the weekly update video. Now, for some people it's going to be good news, some people not so much. Um, this week there is a Slisky's Endgame replay yeah, replayability. Now what this means is that you have your cannon story. You do have a, a, you know, a second chance at changing that if you so desire, but you can replay the quest as much as you want, and as long as you don't actually tick in for your second cannon, you can just have fun with it and see what the different outcomes were if you were to choose, you know, a different god to support or just different uh, choices throughout the quest. So, very interesting. Some people will be quite happy with that, and I know others not so much. Uh, there's a newly obtained in-game this week, which is the the Elder Sermaculum. If you're not familiar, that is the... Uh, divination elder outfit so now you will be able to get uh, that through divination you know by depositing uh, the memories and whatnot into the um, outfit or the uh, <laughs> the pool if you will uh, but what this will give if you get the full elder you'll have three daily teleports to any wisp colony that you have both of the levels and the quest requirements to visit Unlimited teleports to May Stormbringer or Guthix Cave, given you've completed the World Wakes. 7% chance to harvest two memories at once, providing you with twice the XP and Divine Energy. Uh, there's also 7% chance to obtain two Chronicle Fragments or Elder Chronicles at once when harvesting a Wisp or an Elder Wisp. You have a 5% chance to get five times the energy while harvesting Whips. Activates a Diviner's Outfit bonus if owned and depending on how many outfit pieces you have, uh, even when the set is in your bank or being held by Diango. And it says all benefits of modified Diviner's headwear if owned. And you can chat to Orla Fairweather, West of Lumbridge Crater, to for more information about the fragments. It says remember the higher the divination level, the more often you'll receive them. And now we are also seeing the skill head add-ons in game. They are now obtainable. Uh, the blacksmith head add-on. It has a 5% chance to save coal when smelting ores. And you random chance when completing ceremonial swords at artisan workshop along with the outfit itself. The farmer's head add-on. You have a 2% chance uh, to save seeds when planting them. Purchasable. Uh, purchasable from the Cabbage Face Punch Bonanza Reward Shop. The Artisan's Head, 5% uh, chance to save a piece of leather automatically banked, and it says purchasable, purchasable from the Stealing Creation Workshop. The Botanist, 5% chance to make duplicate potions automatically banked, uh, purchasable from the Flash Powder Factory. Uh, Soy Chef, 5% chance to Cook a duplicate item, automatically bank, and random chance on completing a room gnome restaurant delivery. Uh, diviner's head add-on, 5% chance to save energy while weaving or transmuting. Random chance when leaving a Guthixi in cash. First, he first age, you have a 2% chance to save bones when buried or used on an altar, and it's obtainable by purchasing from the Shady Ghost near the Ecto Funtus. Shaman's Head Add-on, 5% chance to save the charm when infusing pouches, random chance when opening a box of summoning ingredients from familiarization. Uh, so that's actually it for the updates this week. There's a lot of good ones for skillers, uh, but don't forget there's Loot Scape. You can still get the Loot Cape yet. Uh, there should only be one live stream. Uh, oh, it does say that too, uh, and there is a Tuesday, January 30th at 1700 UTC, Slisky's M game, replay with mods Raven and Meadows. And Sunday, February 4th at 1900 UTC, game, team, game time, PVM with mod Lee. And it says they'll be having double Lootscape drops on the first stream, and the Lootscape will be a guaranteed drop. As a thank you for everyone who watched past streams and didn't get the loot create due to technical problems and same goes for uh, the PVM portion 
And now we will head over to our patch notes. So skills D&Ds and minigame supportable fleshers now default to tip back remnant bolts section to of the make inter X interface. Players no longer receive low combat XP drops from creatures on worlds 115 and above in Shattered Worlds. Quest challenges and achievements. Players who try to light the beacons during All Fired Up have begun but not completed Defender of Varrock previously will now receive a notification informing them that the completion of Defender of Varrock is required in order to light the final beacon. Other Trying to activate a favorite aura while on cooldown via the aura management icon now displays the cooldown time remaining. Checking time on the helium aura no longer produces multiple blank lines in the chat box. The text when confirming the activating an aura has been changed to would you like to swap auras. The right click aura list on the aura management icon now updates correctly when players upgraded a favorited aura. The description of the moderate aura has been adjusted to bring it in line with its current effect. The runic accuracy aura will now appear in the combat section with the aura management. Players are no longer able to own both tier 1 and tier 3 of knockout auras. Favorited previously owned low tier variants of auras are no longer stuck in the aura management right click activation list. Further measures were put into place to ensure that the aura behaves correctly when players die in a PvP situation with an aura active. Further measures were put into place to ensure that buffs appear consistently on the combat targeting interface. Players can no longer use box traps or mithril seeds to skip Telos Tendril attack. <laughs> players can no longer skip the next Angel of Death icicle mechanic by using box traps. Gaining prestige for boss kill count no longer removes the reaper or final boss title. Pet examines now display the full kill count when a boss is prestiged. Players who have not unlocked all the misprosumed death music tracks after completing the quest will now find them unlocked upon their next login. Overlay interfaces such as aura management now close correctly for all party members when entering a dungeoneering floor. Dwarven and Invention multi-cannons can now be reloaded and repaired, resetting their despawn time by left-clicking them. The Dimension of the Damned statue has been removed. Hotfixes. Players no longer attack themselves if their opponent has an aura equipped. Dying with an aura active no longer causes it to deplete outside of PvP areas. Enchanted Brecriminal Bolts held in a Terranen Quiver can now be removed when the Bolt effect is activated. Loot Share is no longer prevented or prevents drops from appearing outside of an instance area. The Assassin's Run animation for Mauls now temporarily, temporarily uses a 2H stance as the Maul variants cause NXT client to crash. Players may now carry subcontracts when entering the heist minigame. Assassin contracts are now delivered to players when opening Treasure Hunter on the reward screen, for example, if a player has no keys remaining. The reworked version of Death Plateau, Druidic Ritual, and Wolf Whistle can once again be started if the pre-reworked version of the quest was already completed. Cold fixes. Uh, buffs now appear correctly. On combat target interface, the illumination aura has been moved to the aura management interface. The worn option for Demonheim auras 1, 2, and 3 have now been re added. Players will no longer be blocked from loading a bank preset with an active aura or aura active. Further measures were put into place to ensure that Sun Fury tier 2 unlocks correctly for players who have 35,000 sanctification points when gaining prayer XP. Ninja fixes. It is now possible to bind action bars to a specific weapon style to allow automatic switching to a defined action bar upon equipping main hand weapon. This can be managed with the action bar settings interface located in the game settings, which is actually fantastic. So whenever you're weapon swapping now, 
If you weapon swap, your action bar swaps with it. So that is actually fantastic. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later guys.